conditions. And the United manager Jim McLean has shown there's no sentiment in football by dropping three of his Old Trafford team midweek. John Holt, Billy Kirkwood and Davy Dodds bringing back Gary McGuinness, Dave Beaumont and Tommy Corn. But the Manchester hero is in his usual place. Hamish McAlpine got a tremendous reception from the Tannadice fans. And Rangers are without Ian Ferguson, Ali McCoy, and Robert Russell. Here's Dave Mitchell on the break. And the clearance came from Hegarty. And Beattie brings it clear for Dundee United. The one significant change in the Rangers lineup uh, up front is the introduction again of John McDonald to join Dave Mitchell in attack, playing only his third first team match of the season. And it's looking for Bannon on the far side. The Rangers ball. Patterson, led back in by McPherson, the header, the opening goal, Dave Mitchell makes it 1-0 with 27 minutes on the clock. The Rangers supporters celebrate and Mitchell gets his third goal of the season, all coming from the corner kick. It was never cleared adequately, Neri's header out, being returned firmly by McPherson, and there was Mitchell as the United defence came out to loop the ball over McAlpine for the opening goal. Sparks layoff, Beaumont. Now Bannon. Cut off by Redford. Here's Dave Mitchell. Who's they picked up now by McGuinness? United are setting themselves a bit now. Derek has support from BD and now McGuinness. Goff is in the box. Richard Goff made good progress in the back to join the attack. The header from Goff. There's five minutes of the first half left. Rangers leading by one goal to nil, and over the piece, good value for that. United haven't found a way to pierce this Rangers defence. And the greater variety has come from Rangers in attack. The careless one from Dawson picked up by BD. Bowman helps out, but BD takes it on again. 
Malfast joining him. Coyne is on the left. Good running past McKinnon. Back to Malpass. The tackle came from Craig Patterson. Malpass again. Well, a stop chance on Morris Malpass. He had to take it first time. It came in from Bannon. Tried very hard to keep it down, but couldn't quite manage it. Play is waved on as Beanie comes forward. There's Beaumont. Well, that's a fine pass, finding Coyne in space. A chance for Dundee United. Coyne playing it across, it came off McKinnon, and it appeals for handball, and the referee ignores them. Trying to appeal to the linesman, the United players. Tommy Coyne protesting vigorously, he turned inside, played the shot against McKinnon, and appealed for handball. And McCloy falls on the ball, as United again protest at the referee. Tommy Coyne is still upset. Well, he's the man I think of it. A great pass by Beaumont, which released him on the left. He tried to check inside his man. Play one towards the far post. McKinnon was in the way. And that block started the appeal for handball. <laughs> Firm tackle by Craig Patterson. We're into time added on for stoppages in the first half. Space. Person is the Rangers player who does not appear to be in a hurry, nor is Dave McKinnon. And in fact, the half time whistle is gone. The end of a 45 minute period in which the deadlock was broken by number nine for Rangers, Dave Mitchell. A dual struggle over the piece, but Rangers appeared to have the edge with greater variety in attack. And they got the vital goal in the 27th minute when a corner kick was half cleared towards Dave McPherson. The return header into the box, flicked on by Dave Mitchell beyond Hamish McAlpine, and that's what makes the half-time score. Dundee United nil, Rangers one. Welcome back to Tannadice. David Dodds has joined the Dundee United attack, winning number 14. And that means a reorganisation of the United side. The man left out at half-time is Stuart Beattie, who played on the right side of midfield throughout that first half. The indications early in the second half are that Eamon Bannon will switch to the right. So a change of tactics for Dundee United. And certainly on the evidence of the first half, something of that kind was going to be required to turn the match their way because Rangers were a good value for the one-goal half-time lead. So we'll see how the second half settles down with Dodds in the thick of the action up front. Tommy Coyne trying to touch it on towards Dodds. Neri well in command of that situation. You know, have opened up in the second half with Paul Sturrock hugging the left touch line. Here's Coyne. Malpass using Sturrock on the left. Bad break of the ball as it reached him. So Dave McKinnon has the Rangers throw. Well taken by McMinn. And Dave Mitchell is well offside. Goff challenging McMinn. There's Malpass. Good control from Malpass. That's a great pass from Neri. There goes Sturrock on the left. Dodds and Coyne waiting in the middle. Still Paul Sturrock. Towards Davy Dodds. And it's blocked by McCloy. That appeared to be going in. Well, Davy Dodds makes his presence felt straight away. It's a great move from Dundee United. A pass from Neri, releasing Sturrock on the left. Coming inside, looping the ball in. There was Dodds. And the header is blocked. Header. Plays it playing it wide. McMinn took his eye off the ball. And McMinn is the man to be replaced for Rangers. He looks very disappointed. 
And Robert Pritz is the replacement. Challenged by McGuinness and Pritz is penalised by referee McLeish. The ball about to be dispatched forward by Ali Dawson. Mitchell leaping well for it. Very positive running towards the ball from Dave Mitchell. Fraser taking it wide to safety. Goff to Malpass. Neat ball back. This is a good play from United. Here's Tommy Coyne. Going all the way himself. A great running by Coyne and McKinnon sweeps the ball away. Well, there's some delightful play on the left from Dundee United. Goff and Malpass working it clear. The pass eventually coming through to Coyne. That chinking run forward right into the box trying to make room for the shot as the Rangers defence closed in. There's David Odds. This time the corner kick to United. Well, the inclusion of David Odds to the United side after the interval has certainly helped. Barron's corner. Goff touches it on. There's no one there for it for United. Right along the six-yard line and no takers at all. There's David Cooper. There's Bannon. Now Dodds, Richard Goff, trying to make room for a shot. Picked up by Hegarty, Eamon Bannon. I'll just look at McCoy's positioning on the six-yard line, cutting down the angle. And United now creating many more opportunities. Bannon now switching to the left, inviting Sturrock to go to the right. Standing between Coyne and Bannon. Dave Mitchell holding off Paul Hegarty who took a knock in the face. Mitchell still has possession, he has pits available on the left. Trying to make room for the cross. A deep one. Mitchell is up for it and it's beaten out by McAlpine. Well, the marvellous form of midweek continues for Hamish McAlpine. A great deep cross that from Robert Pritz. Mitchell got up superbly to direct the header towards goal and it was beaten out by McAlpine. Cooper's corner. Finding his way to Pritz. Good effort that from Fraser. The United defender has taken it. I think it was Gary McGuinness. He's still on the ground. Yes, McGuinness has recovered after taking a knock in the head from that shot from Fraser. And Patterson left with no option, but a long pass back. Dodds down towards Bannon. Heading for the byline. Super cross, there's Davy Dodds. It's in off the leg of Dave McPherson and United are in front. But the linesman's flag is up. Now the goal is going to be chopped off, I think. Yes, the referees are thinking of it. There's the linesman with the flag up. It must have been 
against Davy Dodds, although that seems a strange decision because Bannon hit the byline with a tremendous one. Look at the way he took on the Rangers' defence to hit the byline, pull the ball across. Davy Dodds went up, nodded it down, and hit the leg of McPherson, tumbled over the line, and I really can't think why that was chopped off. Off the head of Mitchell, Fritz keeps it in. For the benefit only of Gary McGuinness. Sturrock now to Bowman. A measured pass from Bannon, a great chance for United. And saved by McCloy. Well done to United, right on song in this second half. This was down to Dave Bowman, breaking from midfield. A beautifully measured pass to Bannon. Bannon striding into the box, and that's a fine save by Peter McCloy. Got a kick taken by Bannon, beaten out by McCloy. Beaumont uses Malpass at the back. Now Bannon. There's Coyne, tackled by McKinnon. That'll be a United throw. The pressure is building up on the Rangers' goal. Rangers pins. And that's just in, she's wide from Richard Goff. In fact, the referee indicates that Peter McCloy got a touch and that makes it a, a brilliant save from the goalkeeper. Goff coming racing in, setting up the chance for the shot and McCloy got a touch as the ball went wide. There's McGuinness. Bowman steals it from Redford and finds Bannon on the left. Running at McKinnon. It slips down for Dodds. There's Coyne and the ball is scrambled away by McPherson. Well, a combination once again of Bowman and Bannon set up the chance. Bannon coming in from the left, trying to chip the ball to the far corner. McCloy got his hands to it, broke for Dodds, then towards Coyne, but McPherson scrambled it away. Bannon's corner. There's Davy Cooper. John McDonald tackled by Neary. Neary asserting his authority from the back. The cross is much too near Peter McClough. Fritz is available for the throw out. Dave Mitchell chesting it down for Fraser. Here's John McDonald with a chance for Rangers. The United defence is exposed. There's Davy Cooper. And the toe pop towards the corner goes wide. Well, Dundee United almost the victims of their own adventurous play. The break, Pritz playing it forward. Mitchell chesting it down. It was swept on by Fraser into space for John McDonald. He played it inside for Cooper. He tried to find the corner. Coyne going in behind Dodds, McCloy wins it comfortably. Good play from Hegarty. Up goes Coyne, he knew that Bannon was behind him. Good play again from United. The post, the start. Well, what do Dundee United have to do to score? Well, some marvellous play again. The ball played in by Hegarty, headed on by Coyne for Bannon. Coming in from the left, he wasn't picked up again. The shot beat McCloy, came off the post, and with a chance to set up for Sturrock, he couldn't take advantage. Goff. That's for Bannon, if he can get away from Pitts. The referee decides that Pitts didn't get a touch. Gives the throw to Rangers. McKinnon certainly not in any great hurry because Rangers are certainly on the defensive. In fact, they've seldom seen a Rangers side so much under the collar as they have been in this second half. Down goes Dodds, fouled by Patterson, and he should be careful about the descent. He's already been booked. 
very dangerous situation again for the Rangers defence to handle. Eamon Bannon, something of an expert from these situations. And they could have pushed everyone forward to get involved. And there, Bannon and Beaumont discuss the free kick. So here's Bannon. Shot for Neri. 2-1 to United. And Neri has this goal chopped off. Yes, the goal again is chopped off. Well, the linesman appears to not be involved this time. And the decision has been given by referee Willie McLeish. And there will be trouble for some United players. Well, that must mean that the referee decided a United player was in an offside position. Well, this is certainly controversial. Just look at this free kick. Touched sideways by Bannon. Neri teed it up. Blasted into the top corner. And that looked to be a magnificent goal. Commentator there, Jock Brown. Final score, Dundee United 1, Rangers 1. Eight. Two documentaries this week on Channel 4. And fighting it out for sheer pleasure are the swooping Seattle Seahawks and the bucking Denver Broncos in tonight's American football coming after the break.